to say, look, your person is long distance from you. Your new person, and this would literally be wish fulfillment. Your new person, Virgo, I'm telling y'all, you have a divine union. Your birthday could be the 11th. Somebody here that showed you coldness. I, I, I feel like this is the same Scorpio energy that I'm picking up on. But this Leo, you're not going to actually speak to them until can. Hello, Virgo. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zaya here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is who's coming towards you. It is a general read. So take a resonance, leave with those behind. Crosswashers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the leeching link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guide us in this read for my Virgos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Virgo, what do we have for you? What do the cards have to say? We have Scorpio, death and judgment. Pluto in transit. Then we have Pluto on the side, death and judgment on the side. Pluto getting ready to station direct. Then we have number 11 upside down, justice in reverse. Venus retrograde. What do we have at the bottom? Knight of Wands. Your birthday could be the 11th. Oh. Queen of Pentacles. It's some knights uh, that are definitely around your energy, Virgo. Death is there, but if you look at this death card, right, it's somebody that's clothed. They have a hood on. You can't see them. I feel like there's two knights here that are stalking you and watching you. One's a Leo and the other one's a Scorpio. But it's like they're not saying anything. It's really a mystery. It's going to be a mystery until they finally approach you. Okay, this is you right here. Okay, that's you. Uh, right now, you're very much stable and in your energy. Okay, I feel like you're not stressed about a relationship or anything of that matter. Definitely feels to me like you're sitting in your peace. Okay, I'm noticing this the way this woman is sitting in the imagery. She seems to be very content, at peace, undisturbed. Seven of Swords, Page of Cups. Sun. Why is it like the same energy? Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Sun, Page of Cups. Like, I feel like it's a Scorpio Leo. A Scorpio and a Leo here. That's around y'all's energy, but it's mainly a Scorpio. Queen of Wands, Strength. No, there's that Leo. Y'all, hold up. Chariot. It's a Leo here. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to rewind a little bit, okay? There's a Leo, a Scorpio, and then there's another Leo. But this Leo, you're not going to actually speak to them until Cancer Leo season. Okay, this Leo, th th it's still some things that have to happen before you speak to this Leo, man or woman. They have black hair, okay, olive skin. This individual is a man. He has a beard, okay. He does, but... Again, I'm, I'm I'm really getting you're not going to meet this individual until the summer. This other Leo person, they could be some type of, I heard influencer, they could be like um on social media. I don't know why, the Queen of Wands strength and the Chariot, this is somebody that runs a lot like on the 
uh, treadmill. Like, they could spend a lot of time in the gym. They could be a model of some kind. They could have a very nice physical features. They could have a very nice body. I don't know. But this is somebody that's very attractive with the Queen of Vaughn's strength there in the chariot. They're very hard to resist. This individual gets through life with their good looks and charm. I feel like there's then at the current energy, the closest energy is a Scorpio here. For a lot of you, it's a Scorpio. Now, they may not be a Scorpio, but that's the energy that they're really embodying. There's a Scorpio here that wants to apologize to y'all, and they're stalking y'all, and they're going to do a pop-up on y'all, okay? They're going to show up in the most unconventional place and reveal everything. Then you have a young Leo here, okay? Again, that's the energy I'm picking up on. They could be they may not be those signs, but that's the energy they're embodying at this time. However, I guess strong Scorpio, strong Leo, this individual over here is definitely a Leo. But there's a young Leo over here that's like washing you as well. It's two knights here that are just washing. And I, I feel like they're both similar in the sense that they're just being strange. Like, what is with all the secrecy? You know? Like, it's almost as if nothing is real there. Nothing is actually genuine with either of these two knights. Page of Pentacles. Then you have a Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Hangman. You have a very immature Pisces or Taurus that's also looking at you. There's a reason why these energies are coming into your life. Okay, there's a reason. These are the people that are coming towards you. This is separate, okay? This right, right here, this is separate. There's a reason why these energies are, are around you right now, and it's because spirit is testing you. Spirit is testing you. You see, the fan noise is going to stop. Spirit is testing you to see, and this came up in a previous read for you guys that I did a few months back. I remember. I remember this a similar message. And you see, sometimes these messages replay. The spirit's wanting to see, have you really learned a lesson? And yep, I'm going to get a reminder notification. Here, here it comes. Spirit is trying to see, have you guys learned the lessons from your past? That's why all these night energy and page energy, they're around you right now. These are the closest energies that are going to come into your life right now. Are you really ready for your true divine union with this Leo, it could be a Cancer Leo cuss, but for a lot of you, it's a Leo. The strength card there, right, and the Queen of Wands, that's double fire. So for a lot of you, it's a Leo. Are you really ready for your true divine counterpart? Because this will be your true divine counterpart. This is who you're going to move forward. This is who you're going to have the success with. Or are you going to get caught up in page and night energy and have to replay some lessons and then get sacrificed in the end? Because the hangman also is associated with sacrifice, getting caught up, getting stuck, and that's Neptune energy. So it's not even like a physical sacrifice, it's like an energy of getting stuck in our own illusions, right? Because Neptune can be the planet of illusions. Magician. Lovers on the four of swords, well, yeah, the... Like, okay, I'll give this, you know, the, these two knights and this page of pentacles, I'll give them credit. They're all younger than you, right? So they got that energy and that stamina when it comes to intimacy. But can you build a lasting partnership off of just physical intimacy? I think some of you got caught in not just physical intimacy, but emotional intimacy, like the spark that was felt there. And previous connection and that really led to your downfall and it's almost like spirit is saying are you going to fall for that same thing with these younger energies it's an energy here that has like um okay y'all i faced an interruption so i do apologize but yeah i'm definitely getting someone here brown curly hair it could be long could be short it's like a I don't want to say like it's a, it's like a, almost like a hazel brown, like a golden brown hair, 
or like a brown hair with gold, natural golden highlights. Almost like a champagne type of brown. I don't know how to describe it. Not like this. You see the nest here? It's not like that. I don't know how to describe the brown that I'm seeing. It's, it's a really specific type of brown and I'm definitely getting fairer skin. Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, Six of Cups. <sighs> Somebody here that showed you coldness. I, I, I feel like this is the same Scorpio energy that I'm picking up on. Like they showed you coldness in the past and it was back and forth between you and them. And now they want to hitch a ride on over there to y'all, but at what cost? Let's go over here. This read was a flop. Two of Wands and the Lovers. Three of Wands on the side. Moon on the side. Magician on the side. Eight of Swords on the side. It's three individuals that are coming to your way, towards you, your way right, right now. But they're not any good. They're not any good. Look at all of this on the side. Your person is this Leo Cancer cuss, or this Cancer energy, or this Leo energy. That's stunning. Like, you look at them and you're like, wow, this woman, this man is beautiful. Like, they're just majestic stunning like you 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 know like drop dead gorgeous or drop dead handsome whatever you want to say like they are just like a showstopper and they're not just stunning to you you know and it's not about physical appearance right it's not all about that but i want to preface and, and really put it into y'all like your person when they walk into the room everybody turns and looks at them because that's how beautiful handsome they are they're just majestic they have an energy Okay, these energies over here, yeah, they're, you know, I do feel like they're, they, they seem to be younger, okay, they show up as page, they show up as knight, I do see they got energy, okay, but is it giving? Not really, it, it feels very, <clears throat> very surface level with them, yeah, the star and the five of pentacles, they want you for a good time, not a long time and that's why i'm trying to warn y'all spirits trying to spirits trying to warn y'all as well but i also feel like spirit is going to test you are you going to fall for the confusions when it comes to your heart because you want love you want love whoever you are those of you that resonate with this message you want love you want to be in a connection but this right here is not giving. And Spirit says that's the truth. All it's going to be is some good old birds and the bees type ish, okay? Y'all already know Ace of Wands and the Devil. Y'all going to get it in real good if you want with these pages. I mean, if you want that, if you want to have that, you know, that cheeky chi, okay, as we would say. That cheeky chi, están chigando, okay? And if you speak Spanish, then you know, but no, seriously, if that's what you want, you have free will, you can do that, but just know that it ain't gonna be anything long term with these three over here. I think if you go into it like saying, okay, like I'm just doing this for fun, then you'll be all right because you know, okay, they're gonna leave one day. But for those of you that are getting your hopes up with this, especially with a Scorpio or Gemini that keeps doing like a back and forth thing with you, that, no, that that's that's not it. Yeah, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. I mean, the cards speak for themselves. It, it's, it's so, yeah, Fool is here, the Tower. Look at this. Look at this. Ace of Swords. You see, look, your person is long distance from you. Your new person, and this would literally be wish fulfillment. Your new person in Virgo, I'm telling y'all, you have a divine union. You have a divine union right around the corner, love. Tower, Ace of Swords, Fool, Queen of Wands. Excuse me, a little bit of allergies, but this is a divine union, like, but you would have to fly over to see this person. Y'all are long distance. This would be long distance at first. You would have to fly overseas 
or across the country to meet up with this person, or they would have to come to you. But it would be a tower. It would be a tower. And they would be a gentleman or a gentlewoman with you, Virgo. You see, this is what Spirit has been wanting to give you all along. This is truly what Spirit has desired for you, heart, body, and soul, Virgo. This is what you truly deserve, okay? You are the most logical sign, but you also want love. You do have feelings. You do have a heart, right? You can be very critical and very logical and analytical, but you still have a heart like anybody else. And this individual will see that. They'll be able to recognize that. They understand who you are right when you meet them. So, what do we have here? Clergy, guardians of earth, guardians of faith, excuse me, religion, morality, compassion, sacred mission. Animal shaman. This is who's coming into your life. This is who's coming to your life. Somebody that is, that has been chosen and anointed. Okay, they have an anointing over them. And that's why Spirit's going to match the two of you. The question is, are you ready to be matched with this person? Or are you going to be out here, right, in these, in the streets and in the sheets with pages or knights? Yeah, with these madmen that, you know, they really just, ew, this is gross. Like, this is some type of misogynist type of, like, what the F is this? Madman, Avenger, like, almost like, like, re resentful, Essie. Like, what the hell was that energy? I don't even want to get into that. Civil servant and drunk guard. Look at this. Look, the, the, like. So it's somebody here is obs too obsessed with politics to the point that it's going to drive you nuts. Another person is just a mad man or a mad woman. I feel like the Scorpio is just weird. The Scorpio Gemini energy, they're just weird. And this Leo energy, the young Leo, they're... They seem to be like obsessed and have some intense views. Um, and this other energy over here, this page of pentacles, this Taurus. The, the, the Taurus is not even showing up. Like they don't even like they really are only there for a good time and not a long time. So avoid this young Leo, young Taurus, this young Scorpio, Gemini or Scorpio Leo, whatever. And wait for your person, your Leo Cancer Cuss, or the Leo, or the Cancer Energy, okay? That's who your new person's going to be. But just know that these are these these are who is coming towards you, right? Spirit is going to test you in some way, shape, or form. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.